Unchain is finally budget. The deck's core is about $20, which means you can build a decent Unchain deck for about $40. But this video isn't about deck building. We must first learn our way around the deck and start off with some combos. One ending on DDD High King Caesar, the Unchained Soul of Rage, with also a protection from Murkraka from the other ground, and the chamber, which will actually lead you to the Unchained Soul in the graveyard. So basically giving you four to five interruptions. The second combo ends with a Nightmare Griffin, which means you are locking your opponent from effects if the monsters are not linked with the backup of the Unchained Escape and the Chamber, uh, which Chamber gives you the link into your Unchained Soul of Ridge, which is in the graveyard, which this in itself can count as one or two interruption, which basically also gives you the line to escape. In this first combo, all we need is a copy of Dark Beckoning Beast and Urar, or any way to access Urar. We're gonna summon Dark Beck in the Beast, which is gonna give us a search to our opening of the Spirit Gates. We're gonna activate the effect of opening Spirit Gates, allows us to add to our hand another copy of Dark Beck in the Beast. Uh, Dark Beck in the Beast does have an interesting effect where it allows us normal summon, an extra normal summon of any fiend monster with zero attack and zero defense. So we can basically summon the other copy of Dark Beck in the Beast for free. Uh, now we have two fiend monsters in the field. We can go into our Unchained Soul of Yama. Thank you, reprint. And then this is going to give us a search. We are going to search for the Clifford, the big red dog, uh, aka Chevara. Uh, add it to our hand. Uh, from here, we're going to activate the effect of our opening of the Spirit Gates, discarding our big red dog to special summon one of our Dark Beckoning Beasts. Boom, this from here is going to trigger the effect of Clifford the Big Red Dog because it was sent to the graveyard and it's going to allow us to set our chamber to the field. Now that automatically gives us a target for our Urara and we're going to activate Urara to pop the uh, trap card which is can activate the effect to special summon one of our Unchained Monsters from the deck. So now we're going to go for the Blue Clifford, um, Clifford the Blue Dog, uh, the Shiyama special summon itself, boom, onto the field. Uh, but what we're gonna do from here, we're gonna link summon. We're gonna link summon to the Unchained Soul of Rage. And now we're gonna activate the effect of the Shiyama from the deck to pop this card to special summon itself, which is gonna trigger the Ara and the Yama from the graveyard. So we're gonna chain link one, uh, then chain link two, special summon our Clifford the Big Red Dog. And no, we don't wanna destroy a card. We are gonna special summon to the field our Sarama. Boom, that's quite nice. From here, we're gonna activate the Sarama's effect to set our chamber to the field, and we have to pop a card. So what we're gonna pop, we're gonna pop the Soul of Ridge. Uh, when Soul of Ridge is destroyed, it allows us to add a card of Fiend Monster to hand. Any of these doesn't actually really matter which one you add. These things are there, are just folded. Now we have not activated the field effect of Shiyama. We're gonna activate the field effect of Shiyama to destroy Shiyama. No, I don't want to destroy a spell. We just want to special summon our big bad boy to the field. Yeah, so this hair is just gonna basically have um provide us a form of interruption with our chamber. So this is why I'm getting the uh, abdominal unchain to the field. From here, we are we can go into our D D D D D D these nuts and then use these two monsters to go into our mud cracker, which is a protection plus an extension. So the card we return to our hand, this is the reason why we want to special summon our unchained soul to the field by discarding this card. Boom. So this here now gives us four to five interruption during the opponent's turn. Right? Boom boom boom. The second combo is a 2.5 card combo. We basically need a card as tribute folder. Now this combo can end you on the same as the last hand, uh, but ever with this one, I'm taking a slightly different route. You know, depending on the deck you're playing, if you know the matchup or whatnot, you, you may want to take a different route, um, you know, for matchup sake. All right, so from here, we are gonna, this is where the combo give it. So, so we are gonna search the uh, blue dog instead of Clifford the red dog, the Shiyama, add to our hand. Then we're gonna set the, um, activate the effect, uh, discard it to special summon of those. So this combo, basically, you want you to start with one of the trap cards in hand, any of the trap cards in hand, that beckoning beast, and a discard folder. We set this card here, activate the effect of the blue guy in the graveyard, pop, 
boom if X is gonna activate we are gonna be special summoning the uh, clifford the big red uh, dog in this interaction right here and then from here we are gonna go into our unchained soul of rage now again once clifford is sent to the graveyard we can set one of our unchained cards we're gonna set the you know the copy of the trap card we don't have which is chamber boom and now what's great is you have not activated the on field effect of shiyama uh which you're gonna activate here pop this card no bro we don't want to discard we don't have this spell card which is gonna trigger the effect of one the uh field spell sorry the trap card and two of yama which yama is gonna special summon clifford the big red dog to the field no we don't want to destroy a card and we are gonna special summon to our field shy hammer again from here we're gonna activate the effect similar to the last set any of those at the end of the at the end of this combo we are gonna have both of them set so it doesn't really matter which one you choose to set and with our destruction we are gonna destroy the soul of rage which allow us to add one of our monsters to our hand from here we are now nah, you know like i said similar this combo can basically end on a similar combo end board as the first combo with ddd on the field and, and, and whatnot but however this is not the route we go we are making things a little things a little more different all right we're gonna go for makara using these two fellas and then we're gonna activate the makara effect to special summon our soul of rage discarding any of these guys and from here we are gonna make things a little flexier a little painful for the opponent it's based, especially based on the matchup so now that we have griffin on the field and griffin is calling we can discard one card to set one of our magic and spell cards from our graveyard and draw a card so basically the card we use as folder to this card replaces itself and what's great about this combo is one griffin is protected because makaria can protect someone from battle or destruction so the opponent now has to find a way to play to play without linking or find a way to link as quick as possible but the moment the opponent does have some form of answer during the opponent's turn guys we do have access to the chamber where well, we are gonna have chamber on the field but just remember that you you want to put it in a, in a link zone or it won't have any effect you're gonna be um losing from your own griffin effect right here so based on what the opponent does you do have a form of interaction with the soul of rage now what's great about this also right you can you go and can go which is which will give us the two interruption getting rid of one of the opponent special summon monsters and then going into the unicorn one we're gonna discard a card for you and however we're gonna draw a card for unicorn because unicorn will be cold link um when we special summon it and use the effect what's also great if the opponent is unable to break the unicorn and griffin lock during your turn you're gonna utilize or you're gonna gain the second effect of unicorn which is while any cold link nightmare monsters are on the field for your normal draw in your draw phase draw one card for each different name among the cold link nightmares so basically you are gonna draw two cards guys so we're gonna interrupt the opponent multiple times also have some form of flood gate in the field and we are gonna draw multiple cards because of this these are the combos that i've been testing so far the deck is chipped now they are very similar lines with tour guide from the other world however i wanted to showcase some of the dark beckoning lines which i find to be very interesting and bring so much value to the deck hopefully in some of the matchups or maybe some combos i will be featuring some of the tour guide lines